16. 16 had power chords. Why does it say E5? Because he is string 6 open, it's not for 5. Why does it say A5? It's on string 5 open, it's not for 5. Because power chords are listen, are roots and fifths. What? They have the roots and fifths. So, you're playing in A, an E open power chord, you get E. And what's the fifth above E? What's the name of this note right here? Look. What's the name of that note? B. Remember? B2. Right. So, count E, what? E, F. F. Oh, E, half step is F. No, no, no. Just count the letters. Okay. E, e F, F, G, G A, A, and B. B. That's the fifth above. Right. That's why it's a power chord. Okay. I still don't get it, right? But okay, I, I believe it. Then A. Well, it's it's just it's just I'm the hitting the fifth, fifth, and I'm hitting the bass. Right, oh, yeah. right. You hit the A, and the E would be a fifth. One. Right. And then D would be D and A. Right. What if you're playing fretted power chords? What? Fretted power chords. Mm -hmm. You do this. F is fret one. What's the fifth up from F? Count. F G A B C. Right. There it is, right there. Can I use my second finger? No. Use your one finger and F, third finger and C. So listen. Right? On the key of B flat, but be the same. You drop down to the fifth string and fourth string. You don't touch. It's a two string power chord. So if you do A power chord, what? Remember A5? Mm -hmm. Twice. I'm using they're doing power chords. Okay. I still don't get why they call it power chords. What's 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 a you learned this in book three. What's a chord consist of? Like a C chord consists of third, third, yeah, third, 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 third and fifth. So power chord doesn't have thirds. Oh. So it's they say it's like bisection. It could go either way. So it's it, it can be major or minor because there's no third. Uh -huh. So then why Music guitar players, like rock players and metal players, they didn't really care about learning a lot of chords. Mm -hmm. They're more into shredding the pitch or something like that. So power chords get a fat sound, and it's just two finger chords, so that's what they do. Okay. All right. So, tablature, you understand that, or you want to read that out loud? Tablature. Tab tablature <laughs> graphically represents the guitar fretboard or fingerboard. Each horizontal line represents a string, and each number represents a fret. Okay. So look, you got the camera going. Now watch. Yeah. If I put the guitar on my lap, right? That's what this is. This is like Rex, which says sit that's my guitar, it's your guitar. So when I look at this, right? You hold this. You hold the bot. No, this is the bot. So we're looking at it. So you're looking at, you're missing the head, which is here. This is the strings, and over here would be the body. Yes or no, do you get it? Yeah. So if I pick this string, that's indicated by what? A zero. The bottom string. And it's a zero, right? On string four, six, five, four, it says fret two. You put a finger in fret two. two. That's all it is. Okay. You get it? Yeah. But what does Tad not tell you? How to play rhythm. Rhythm, yeah. So you have to play it right here. That's why some people, hey, I play this song. Yeah, not too good. Thing, but... <laughs> so. Let me go ahead and demo these songs right here. Okay. By the way, look at exercise 41. Why are we playing G with that second finger instead of that third finger? Because you're in the second position. So watch. <laughs> I tell it to my, my, my seven year old, no, no, eight year old, nine year old, so you can go and play this song for your school project. Mm -hmm. You took a lesson, turn, and use my lyrics, <laughs> and then the principal will be calling me up. And I'll have to come down and meet your parents, and what did you teach them? Oh, he did it. And the kids said, Okay, who's the most mature one? Then we'll both play to ourselves. <laughs> the kids start to laugh. 
Okay, so that's it for that. Let's keep going. Right. Just want to give an idea how that sounds. I'll let you. I'll yeah. you. I'm not doing it. So, what's it say over here? Ah, shuffle. So go ahead and read that, read that out loud what that means. In shuffle. traditional styles like blues or jazz, eighth notes are played unevenly. Play the first note twice as long as the second. Playing the eighth note in this way will give you the desired shuffle or swing feel. So, that sounds interesting. Yeah, so you're going to be getting eighth note triplets pretty soon. And what does eighth note triplets mean? Well, how many eighth notes in a beat? In one beat, two, right? One in, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have to play three, how would you count that? You go like this on string one. You pick down, say one, you pick up, say trip. And then pick down a lift. We have to do it one beat. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Or you have to pick down, up, down. You count one triplet, beat two triplet, three triplet, four. So check this out. This is really cool. All this right here. So that's your power chord. You just turn on the page. That's open A and fret two. Mm -hmm. But they want you to play with your first finger and fret two wide. Because you're in second position. Mm -hmm. Watch. Watch me. So I'm going to apply that. One triplet, two triplet, three. So if you just go one and two, it sounds like a white boy trying to play blues. It's kind of stiff, right? So, so if you want to do blues, it's always one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet. Oh, so one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One trip, two trip, and one trip, and two trip, and three trip, and four trip, and one. This is actually picking all down. When you're playing two strings at one time, you always pick down or more. If you're playing sing single notes, then you go one, you go one miss on the trip, let two trip, let if you're doing single notes. So one trip, let two trip, let three trip, let. But if you're playing double strings, you just strum all down. One trip, let two trip. Oh, um, interesting. Okay. okay. And how come you were tapping both of your feet? With this? You were tapping both of your feet when you were doing that. Really? I didn't realize. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try to have it. Okay. So that's that. Let it keep running. Okay. On on the next thing, um, exercise 44, on what page is it? 20. It says do a blues and that. You just do those patterns. What? So A would be this. Measure two. Well, measure three. Call me Stormy Monday. Now deep. But Tuesday, still the same. So you can use those patterns for playing. It's all about this. So you were playing with power chords? Is that what you were yeah, just right doing? right here. You learned three power chords. Okay. You learned the E5, which is here. Look. Six and five, that's the, the or the A five, A, then the D five, and you play right. that over here. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Because I didn't show you that, you might say I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> no. Okay, so okay. So key of V, nothing. Nothing there. You can play as an open, but you should start learning to play in second just to get away. Because if I don't tell you, you're gonna play everything in first. You should start trying to play these. So in, so play these in second. Play yeah. these in second. Yeah. In second. yeah. Yes. Ah! Finger picking is really nice. So, this is your right hand, right? Mm -hmm. So, your right hand, you're going to look at P for pole guard. What does that mean? It says right here. It means thumb. Mm -hmm. What's an index? Index, India. Mm -hmm. Your middle finger is media or middle, and your ring finger, wedding ring finger, would be annual. So, I don't use picking up. So, you hit sack for a ride. Mm -hmm. Bring your fingers in like this. And I had some of my students go, oh, okay. They go, moron, or you putts. If you do that, the guy's going to ride by and say, oh, thanks. He's gonna, you're not going to get gas. They think, hey, nice ride. You have to go like this. That means you're universal for getting a ride to go. You see Brooke, you're going to have And if you do, in some cases, actually do this, go, dude, they're going to shoot you. <laughs> you know, are you making fun of my ride essay? <laughs> So anyway, you hold, hold it like this, uh -huh. keep it like this, turn it over, 
and keep your fingers together, don't let them, and then you're going to put your... Uh -oh. It's still recording. Oh, it's still recording. I, I just can't see me. So I'm going to do the A minor chord with my left hand, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put my, so I went like this, it's tracking my right. Well, the first chord's D, so I'll do D. And I'm going to turn them over, put them on the D string on the last fret of the guitar. What? Don't put them here. Don't put them here. Put them on the last fret. And then where's your D, because your D chord, D string, where's your index go? In the very next string, mm -hmm. where the Center. In the middle of the sound hole, your index. So you have the shape of a what? V is in Victor. Right. Here's what you're going to do when I'm not here. Your fingers, fingers are going to end up in front. Don't let it do that. So my, my fingers have gotten used to this position from Hotel California. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I forgot how we showed you yeah. that. And your middle finger goes the next thing, and your finger goes the next thing. What's this say right here? Pick strings, what? Four, three, two, one. Twice. So listen. What's the next chord? Open, open, fret two, open. So it's an A7 chord, but you only have to use one fret on string two. So the other strings are open, so you don't have to do the traditional A7 fingering. Mm -hmm. Just go like this. G chord, you're going to have string six, three, two, one, so it's. And all I want you to do is on the next couple of pages, you can play the melody if you want to, but I'd rather do the finger pick. Okay. So, what does this mean? These are eighth notes. Is it time to go already? Yeah. These are eighth notes. So hold this. So I'm going to sing this. I hope it won't torture you, but you're doing the accompaniment. Okay. It's just, you're just saying, play all eighth notes. Okay. So. Swing low, swing to me coming for to give me home. Swing, and just by the, this number means what? Five means that's your five. Swing low. Thank you. See, I don't like this. I was a little bobblehead. Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me. Not me, unfortunately. Coming for to carry me Double or Sam Sam Ramal, thank you! So that's finger picking. Okay. It's pretty, huh? Yeah, it's nice up. Okay, and you can do some more finger picking here. You don't have to do the top part, it's got a little fair. This is what? B minor slash A, what's that mean? Yeah, what's a in the bass. What? If you see uh, a chord, if you see any chord, B, capital B, little M, slash A, that's for someone like your sister. Hey, come down here, you're going to play bass. Excuse me. I want you to play bass, so you play the right side. Awesome. So you have to play bass. So you play a B minor chord with the A and the bass. You do this finger right here. It says one, two, three. Where's the A? Oh, okay. Right? That's all. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. So if you do this, uh, what's the song? Uh, So you have these bass lines where you play, that's a G chord, but like this, but they don't want that. They want this, why? They want to see a G with a B in the bass, because it creates a, a sound, a certain sound. A minor, A minor with a G in the bass, right? So that makes a big difference. So how are they going to write A minor with a G in the bass? Capital A, little M, slash G. That's all that means. Okay. Okay. We're still recording, so. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. Oh, 
On X Life 55, it looks like it's finger picking. Oh, did you hold it so it doesn't? Yeah. They want you to use your pick and listen. Don't go like this. If it's written as Rex, no. Hold down the chord so it's. Ghost. Uh -huh. That song. Okay. Okay. House Rising Sun. You play the finger people. Okay. Okay. That's just nice. Car style. Car style is where you play the chord with the pick. You play chords and bass notes, but the bass note is the melody. What? Well, that's the first exercise. But you only play chords on like what beats two and four, and only a partial C chord. So instead of going like this, you just strum the top three strings. So you go, form the whole chord, and pick string five, and on beat two, you strum the first string down. Roll, roll, roll your bow gently down the string. Da, 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 da. That's all that is. Okay. Bluegrass players do that a lot. So is, the, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So you're playing the chords in the melody. The same right, time. right. What's it say about? Read that out. Bass oh, run. bass run. We talked you about that. Read yeah. that out loud. A bass run is a pattern of notes that connects the bass notes of two chords. The bass run gives you accompany, accompaniment, Spit it out. variety, and provides momentum towards the new chord. Practice these bass runs between G and C or G and D. Then play them with the bluegrass classic going down the road. I don't know. But listen, if yeah. you're a guitar player, and the bass players play with you, he's gonna, most bass players in country bands go. They do roots and fifths. What's the fifth from G? D. So they go. That's all they do. It's boring. But here they show you how to do, what's in between G and C? G, A, B. Scale notes. So lots. Much better. Because this kid. <laughs> I can play Roots and Fizz, that's all I do the whole night. And I smoke cigarettes and I'm going to die <laughs> in a nightclub, so anyway. <laughs> so, so. What's the next one say? Just just the bass notes without the guitar chords. You just go. G, G, G. It's bass note. Bass run, it's called a bass note. That's all. Scale note. Oh. I thought you thing. said a bass run was when you slide. No, that's a slide. Oh, oh, oh. That's a book three, that's called articulation. So bass run is when I start with one root and then I use the scale to go to the next root. In whatever the next chord is. Okay, okay. If you're doing G to E minor, you go. Okay, that makes, that does sound a lot better. Oh yeah, yeah. much more full. It fills things up. Yeah. Yeah, let's just say B7. B7. Nothing, nothing important. Let's just say key of Q, E. E. That's four sharps. F so, sharp, C sharp. So G remember this. It's a lot of sharps. So listen. There's seven sharp keys, seven flat keys. For today, I'll tell you, you have to memorize this and write it down. So just remember this weird phrase. Father Charles, say that. Father Charles. Like a pastor, a, a Catholic priest. Father Charles goes down. Goes down. And eats breakfast. And eats breakfast. So, Father Charles, no. <laughs> Father Charles goes down and eats breakfast. Seven sharp. My uh, my piano teacher used to use fat cats go down alleyways right. eating bologna. <laughs> so if you're in the key of F, you have fathers. Uh -huh. I mean, no, in the key of G, you have fathers. Uh -huh. So what's the first, if it's one sharp, it's F, right? Father, right? Right. What's the next letter after F? G. G. In the key of G. G yeah. What if you had two sharps? You have Father Charles. What's the next letter after C? In the key. You get it? Yeah. Okay. It's just a half step up. up yeah. Ah, what's this? Triplets. And this guy, <laughs> if I met him ever mm -hmm. in a Christmas party, uh -huh. I'd say, dude, there's something on his shoe. What's that? <laughs> He's probably wearing like his little nerdy bow tie. I said, why would you do that? So you want to count triplets like Okay. You want to go one, two, not triple it four. <laughs> you want to say the beat always, and then use T for trip and L for let. Let's go one, two, three, three. triplet, 
four. Then you're going to go one, trip, let, two, trip, let, three, four. Right. And here, one, two, two and, and three, three trip, trip, let, let four. four. Uh -oh. It's still recording. Okay, so let's let's clap it together. Then we're done. I gotta go. He's, he's twenty minutes away. Okay. Because you exit Pleasant and off the. Yeah, it's the Burnell exit all the way to Fairgrounds, and then you go forever. He lives away. Oh really? So I was gonna tell him this is our last lesson, but since he's going away, but anyway, so I'm not. But they're moving, so I'm, I'm not gonna drive that far. Yeah. Nice Pete, nice mom. Chinese. Uh, here we go. So let's clap. One. Go. Oh, and when you pick triplets, you have an extra eighth notes. You have to pick down, up, down. One trip, lit, and I'll be two. You have to pick down, that's a new beat. Don't Wait, say that again. So one trip, lit, lit. and then. And. Lit. No, there's no end. Okay. You pick one, up, trip, trip lit. That's lit. it. Then I'll beat the next beat, you have to pick down. And then I go down. Right. Okay. If you have two triplets in a row, pick down, up, down. Next beat, down, up, down. That's okay. Right. Yeah? Yep. Okay, let's clap it, and then okay. we're done. Then I gotta run. Alright. Ready? So, one, two, two three, three, triplet, four. four. Next measure. One, triplet, two, triplet, say three, four, four then slow. One, one two, and two, two and, and three, triplet, four. Okay, we're done. Okay. Pretty good, sir.